Welcome to another electrifying episode of the NRL Live Chat 2.0 podcast. Get ready for all the footy action and insights you crave. Here are your dynamic hosts, PJ and Breno. G'day footy fans, welcome to another Ripper episode of the NRL Live Chat 2.0 podcast. We're your hosts, one and only Breno, that's me, and of course the legend himself, PJ. How you going mate, ready for a chat all things footy? Going good buddy, not wearing the bunnies tonight, I'm wearing black, I'm in mourning, the season is over, but uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Oh, what a shame. (laughs) All right, let's... Let's rip into it. Let's have a look at what happened uh, in round 21. Yeah, getting down to the business end now, aren't we? Uh, few, we are. A few interesting scores this week. Let's check it out with the first game. Uh, Warriors and the Tigers. Fanua Blake led the Warriors to a 28-16 to victory. And uh, that kicked off round 21. 12-point win kept the Warriors' slim chances to the finals. Um, it keeps them in touch with the eight. Tigers looking for their a possibility of their third straight wooden spoon. Um, it's looking very likely, isn't it, the old Tigers? Uh, not a, not a good around. performance. It was, actually, it was actually a pretty good game. I, I, I enjoyed watching that one. I was at the pub with the boys. Um in, enjoyed Warriors. watching that one, but um, yeah, I had Warriors thirteen plus, and the the sneaky West Tigers scored in the last minute to make it one to twelve. Yeah. So, a bit disappointed about that, but uh, yeah, okay. good win by the Warriors. I They're the back margin. on track. <laughs> well, yeah, I got the margin there. Go me. Probably the only thing I got this week. Anyway, going to Eels and Storm. Munster enjoyed a successful return from a ten week layoff. As the storm surged past Parramatta on Friday, um, yeah, the Eels now only need ten of to win ten of their last six games to make the final. So there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance? Oh, Jim Carrey, don't uh, you just love him? I've seen that one. Yeah, I'll throw that in there. Parramatta, very average, very average. Storm, thirteen plus. Both of us tipped it. Um, pretty easy tip. Uh, I thought they could have gotten a few more tries. The Storm, but. Uh, they were a bit clunky. Uh, Wayne Bennett came off the field and blew his team up at full time. As he does. Going, he, he going blows, off his nana. He, he blows them up when they're, they're leading by you know, 20 or 30. Yeah. There's, there's no yeah, water he, bottle safe in his uh, coach's box. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was not happy after that performance. He thought they switched off at times. And uh, that's the perfectionist that he is. He yeah. really inspires them to be the absolute best. And anything less is not good enough. Well, I like your little animated football there, mate. Oh, That's wait. pretty cool. <laughs> You've been playing uh, around with the settings. I had nothing better to do. Uh, all right, um, Bron- Broncos and Bulldogs. Uh, Bulldogs came out at Suncorp to continue the Broncos' poor record at home, smashing them 41-16. to 16. Wow. Broncos now looking to miss a spot in the eight this year. Uh, one of the Broncos' greats, Gordon Tallis, also came out on Fox Sports to claim that Reynolds should be stripped of his captaincy. Uh, a bit rough, I think. He hasn't been there for half the half the year because of injury. Mm. Uh, and they've struggled without him over the past couple of months. Uh, yep. It's a bit rough there, good old Gordon. Yeah, don't know what Gordon's thinking there. I, I, I really don't strip him of the captaincy for a lack of attitude. I, I, I don't understand. They did definitely look like they... Thought yeah. they could run on the field and win the game because they've got Adam Reynolds, but <laughs> that didn't quite work out for them, did it? Uh, Bulldogs were just outstanding. They didn't give him anything. They never gave him a sniff the whole match. Yeah, they every time they had to have game. a big moment, yeah. yeah. Every time the dogs had to have a big moment, they took it, and they and they used that excitement and energy to to make the next big moment. They were, Bulldogs are the real deal this year, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely. I've declared it. The Bulldogs are the real deal. It's sad to say by me, but yes, I, I definitely agree with that. They're playing really well this year. Yep. Not sure if they're premiership contenders, but they are definitely the real deal. Yeah, it's got, a different got, level. Probably got more chance than some of the teams in the, the bottom of the top eight there. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Felt scored a hat-trick as the Cowboys overcome the loss of two of their star forwards uh, to down the Sharks, 30-22. to 22. 
and kept their top hopes, uh, four hopes alive. Cowboys, you're welcome. I haven't tipped them for half the year, and, and uh, as they're so unpredictable, and <laughs> since you went against them again, and, and, and they, they won, they've been winning. So you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I tipped them one to twelve, and they got an eight point win. So Done another well. point on you, Breno. Yeah, got but, it. But um, good game, Sharks. Very, very scratchy. I, th- I thought I thought they still could have won it even uh, late on, but. Um, yeah, well, it wasn't wasn't a great game, but it was a good game for the Cowboys. Uh, they keep powering their way into that top eight and putting themselves where they think they should be, which is exactly where they are. They're keeping all their home fans happy as well. Yep. Yeah, and then the Roosters, eh? The Roosters are back, ladies and gentlemen. They um, probably should have won that game by 20, but mm. then they switched off multiple they times, actually, yeah. during the match. And um, strangely, the the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles scored 12 late points and and could have snatched a victory at yeah. the end. If that game went but, no, um, another 10 minutes, I reckon they would have. Um, they would have won, won, sure. won it for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We both went Roosters one to 12. We both got that one right. Uh, Tedesco I thought was outstanding. He had a fantastic game. It's good to see him play some good yeah. football. Uh, Roosters looking good without being fantastic, and Manly who've been great. Probably think they they let that one slip. All right, then we then we go on to Sunday football for a Super Sunday extravaganza. It's coming. He's clicked the wrong button. He's got his football. He's got his ball swinging in the wrong direction. There we go. All righty, Panthers one to twelve. Both of us. How wrong we were. Dragons have decided once again they would clock off and not actually have a go. It was a very very poor for performance by the Dragons. Penrith, right back to where they should have been. Uh, 12 nil up after 12 minutes, and they didn't look back. Yeah. Panthers, um, also, they put on 900, 998 metres to the Dragons, 459, just in the first half. That's, that's a reflection of the score there, I think. Yeah, and that's embarrassing in front of nearly 19,000 Wollongonglians. I think that's what you call them. Um, big gone. crowd down there on a Sunday afternoon yeah, uh, for the up. Dragons mm. to, to Fairdingham not even run out. It's yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a really shame. poor. Yeah. And then the shock of the weekend, ladies and gentlemen, we both tipped the Finns 1-12 to and it was the Titans who picked up a seven-point win, 21-14 over the Dolphins. What do you think of this one, buddy? Who, who would have picked that? <laughs> no idea. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think I've got the, the Titans wrong three weeks in a row. I tipped them to win, they lost. No, lost, they win. I tipped them to win, they lost. And now I tipped them to lose and they won again. So uh, yeah, I'm like, the kiss of death for them this year. The Titans are 14 points down too. They, they come back to beat them 21-14. So, yeah, um, it was... Totally, um, totally destroyed my tips this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that one hurt. The Broncos one hurt as well, but um, that one was very painful. Um, but, yeah, I think most people would have tipped the Dolphins, so it's probably one of those ones so, yeah. everyone got wrong. And then the final match of the round, the uh, South Sydney Rabbitohs couldn't be more south than they are right now. What's that guy running off for? Uh, oh, This was uh, Whiten. He went, Whiten. Off, he went off um, and he, he, forgot, went, he forgot which uh, change room he belongs to now. He's <laughs> old Whiten went to go hard. to the bathroom. Yeah, he's gone left. Went to go to the bathroom, have a slash. He's gone left, Bum-bum. not right. Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, the other one. I think he just wanted to go and shake everyone's hand. There you go. Yep, hey, mate. Yep, there you go. That's not embarrassing at all. <laughs> not embarrassing at all. Forgot he was the away team. But fortunately, he didn't pass it to a Canberra team uh, player, but everyone else basically did. Rabbitohs really poor. Alex Johnson gone for the season now. Uh, Cody Walker Injured late in the game. He's been named this week, but it's very unlikely I'm hearing that he's going to play. Um, Rabbitoh's season over. I'm in mourning. Oh. There is, there is, ladies and gentlemen, there is still a Rabbitoh's logo under there. But, uh, um, oh. yeah, that very, very, very poor performance. South just had nothing. Canberra started hot. I think they were 12-0 up after 11 minutes and uh, never looked back. Uh, good on you, Jack. <laughs> was and don't forget, 
That was his 200th game too, Jack White, and so you forgive him a little bit. He was a bit excited, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget the best team, the Newcastle Knights, beat the bye. Yeah, we got we won. We got two points. We, we went up the ladder. <laughs> two points. Speaking of yeah. ladder, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. I tell you now, if South beat Canberra, they would have been in 10th spot, two points out of the eight. Yeah, right. And now they're 15th and gone. Gone. It was such a important match that match and they it just didn't show up mate unfortunately but yeah. uh storm still leading four points clear yeah. of penrith four yeah. points clear of the roosters and the sharks bulldogs proving their worth to be in the top five i can't see anyone outside the top five winning the comp no. i'll be honest I'm, I'm, I'm including the bulldogs in there but um cowboys manly dolphins they're just making up the numbers in the top eight at this stage based on their irregular form um right down the bottom west tigers 12 points, just two points behind Parramatta, who is six points behind the Rabbitohs. It's just a tough season for those clubs down the bottom. Yeah, at this point, I don't see Melbourne uh, getting knocked off that top spot. Four points in front. No. Uh, no. The only team that's going to do it is Penrith, and I, I just don't, I don't see Melbourne um, moving from that spot. They yeah. played, played well. Yeah. Yeah, it makes you wonder who's going to be in the grand final. We'll take a look at that. We'll definitely take a look at that very soon. But um, here's our Ooh. tips for the week. So, PJ, done well. Got six. Yeah, yeah and I, got I went against my two, two teams, me, me rabbits and sharks, uh, and that worked out well. So <laughs> yeah, done well. Six, I've kicked back six three ahead of you. My score's 94. Breno's 91. What's your score? Yeah, let let us, us know in the comments. Put in the comments. We'd love to hear your score. Uh, we haven't had anyone share their score yeah, yet. On. We must so have beaten pull everyone. Your out. <laughs> pull your fingers out. Everyone's in a tip of mate. Trust me. Yeah, as we were just saying, so we did a little bit of a poll um, the other day on our page, and, yeah, it's pretty clear to see that everyone's sort of in agreement. So the top three teams are the ones that are possibly going to be playing in the grand final this year. Um, mm. Obviously, Storm taking that out, 56 votes. Panthers took 48 votes and Roosters 37. A couple of votes there for the Dogs, the Cowboys and Dolphins. But, yeah, it's going to be between these three teams, I would say. Who's going to be in the grand yeah. final, let alone who's going to win the premiership? Yeah, a quarter of the team's thinking Roosters, but two-thirds are definitely thinking Panthers, Storm. I can't see the grand final being anything other than that. Yeah. I don't even know who I'd go for. Because I would always go for Penrith over the Storm because I hate the Storm. Yeah. But um, after Penrith have won three in a row, I think it's time for it's, someone else to have a go. It is turn, time for someone you? else to have a go. But yeah, I, I, what, I'd rather. As long as it's not the Roosters. I'd, I'd rather be going for Panthers and any of them anyway. Yeah, I'll, I'll make my mind up later on in the year with a bit of alcohol. <laughs> All right, let's go check out what's happening in round 22. Oh. We're Exciting. getting there. We're getting there. It's getting closer. Yep. All right. So the first matchup is on. Uh, well, we got Thursday. Back to Thursday night games. Thank God for that. Thursday. Just throwing everything out. Not having Thursday night games anyway. Tigers find themselves in a struggle to avoid the third wooden spoon, as I mentioned before. Uh, <laughs> doesn't get any easier than this Thursday when they they play the unpredictable Cowboys at Leichhardt. Uh, Tigers are paying three dollars forty. I'm tipping Cowboys in this one, one to twelve. Yes, you heard it here. I'm tipping the Cowboys this week. <laughs> oh, that means, ladies you're, and you're gentlemen, welcome, put Tigers. all your money on the West Tigers. <laughs> all your money on the West. No, I'm I'm going Cowboys thirteen plus. In fact, yeah. um, Tigers haven't shown me anything to suggest that they're going to challenge the Cowboys. They're starting to hit some really good form. Mm. They need to be hitting form now. The Cowboys. If they're going to rival anyone at the top, this is a game they've got to flog them. They've got to flog them if they're, if they're going to stamp their credentials on this for comp. For sure, yeah. And, if, and for all their struggles this year, the Warriors still find themselves three points outside the top eight. Five games left to play before a bye in the final round. So they get two points there. Lucky them. Uh, mm. Eels are still in a battle to avoid the spoon. We go to... Oh, we go to go media in Auckland, New Zealand. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, on Friday uh, night, yeah. no, six o'clock on Friday. <laughs> it's getting late. Uh, yeah, so the Eels are paying $3.90. Uh, I can't see anything more than 
a Warriors 13 plus here that or well, mean plus plus. <laughs> yep, they've drifted out to 420 now, Breno, but um, Warriors, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go 1 to 12. Warriors, I, I think Parramatta will have a go. Warriors have been fits and starts all year. They've had some amazing wins and some terrifying losses. Hmm. Um, they're not in the eight, and they've absolutely cost themselves that position because they started the season really strongly. They just lack that consistency, and uh, I think they'll win, but I think it'll only be 1 to 12. Fair enough. The eighth place Dolphins take on the third place Roosters at HBF Park. That's in Perth. Head all the way over to Perth on Friday Perth. night. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you now the Finns after a disappointing match last week, being defeated by the Titans. Roosters are back flying high after a narrow, narrowly beating um, Seagulls. Uh, Dolphins are paying three dollars fifty. Roosters dollar thirty one. I'm going Roosters thirteen plus. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to go Roosters 1-12. to 12. I think the Roosters are definitely going to win. Uh, would, wouldn't it be nice if the NRL announced the 18th team being in Perth while they're in Perth hosting one of these games? Wouldn't that be fantastic? Yeah, no no offence to our Papua New Guinean one. people. No offence to our it's, Papua it's New Guinean happening. friends. <laughs> it's still happening. Yeah. But, um, you know, uh, make a decision. Gee, get on with it, NRL. Seriously, you're like a government, you know? <laughs> Fair dinkum. But, um, yeah, Ro- Roosters, Roosters um, should win this game. Dolphins have to win this game yeah, to stay in the hunt eight. for yeah, the absolutely. top eight. Yeah. They uh, they will be desperate. Uh, looking at their lineup, uh, they're looking pretty good. Tabby Wife in, Jake Averello, Herbie Farmworth. Looks like a good side. I can't see anyone missing. Um, but um, maybe that Broncos forward, what was his name? Flegler? Can't see him there. But, um, yeah, he might be out. But um, Dolphins have to win this game. Mm. This is an absolute must win. This is a semi-final for them. For sure. So I'm going Roosters 1-12. Ooh. Did I tell you what I was going? I did, yeah. Roosters 13 plus. <laughs> yep. You did. I'm, I'm putting all my money in. Yep. All in. All right. With a win over the Broncos already this season, the Slippery Titans will fancy their chances of knocking off Big Brother. Again at Seabus Super Stadium uh, on Saturday, uh, kick off at 3 p.m. Uh, Broncos hopes the finals all but gone after last week's poor performance against the Dogs, uh, while Titans continue to surprise us. PJ, mm, Fatty Vaughton was here right now. He'd say, "Gone." <laughs> yep, they're both gone. But this is PJ's match of the round, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, this is yeah. PJ's match of the round. <laughs> um. <laughs> It'll, it'll be a good game. Uh, Titans just don't – they're like the Warriors. They just don't know if they want to play good this week or next week. You know? Except they're just up and down. Coin. Bron- <laughs> yeah. Broncos came back. Adam Reynolds flogged the Dragons, I think it was, then come out the next week and fair to get towed up by the Bulldogs, it was, it was actually, who did play really well. It was, a, it the, was the Knights, but we won't tell anyone. It was the Knights, that's right. Yeah, flogged the Knights. Us. And then, uh, yeah, bounced back with it terrifying loss to the Bulldogs. Mm, so um, I, I'm going Titans. I'm going 1-12. to 12. Mm. I'm going without any confidence at all. But um, <laughs> this is PJ's match of the round. This will, this will be a cracking yeah, okay. game. Yeah, uh, I'm going. early game on Saturday too. I, I love it. Bron- Broncos 1-12 uh, to 12 for me. All right, watch this space see what happens. Yeah. Join yep. the chat. <laughs> all right, the Storm currently sit Four points clear of Penrith in their bid for the first minor premiership since 2021 and a win on Saturday at Amy Park will take them one step closer up against the Dragons who got smashed by the Panthers last week and looking to get back uh, in form in the race to get back in the top eight. Currently sitting in 10th. Uh, Dragons paying a massive $7. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I can only see Melbourne 13 plus. I, I don't remember seeing a seven dollar odd in a head to head race Sport, sports bet, ever. Yeah. I don't I don't ever remember a seven dollar um team. Uh, that that's astounding. I've got the storm by 26, 26 plus. Um they they've won twenty nine of their last forty one games against the uh, dragons and the home record's even better than that. It's um it's gonna be a bloodbath. Dragons fans, just don't watch. Just, just go 
to the movies, check something out. Just don't watch. Honestly, it's just not going to be worth it after last week's effort at home to back up now to play the Storm in white-hot form. It's going to be a yeah. bloodbath. Storm have won 17 of their past 18 games at Amy Park. So yeah. They're good there. Yep. Storm 26 plus. 26 plus. Oh, wow. Heard it here. Put your money on it. No, don't. Uh, okay, on You're Saturday, responsibly. <laughs> Campbell responsibly, uh, the Sharks are eager to ensure a winning return to Point, Point Bet Stadium as they find to remain, or they fight to remain in the inside of the top four. Uh, they're hosting Souths on a Saturday at 7.35. Rabideau sitting down at 15th after a loss last week. Uh, what can your bunnies do, PJ? Oh, it's going to be bad, man. I'll probably be at this game too. Oh, I think the no. wife's going to drag me down there. Yeah, she likes watching Sharks win, and there's only yeah. one thing she likes more, and that's watching Sharks win <laughs> against South. Oh, no. I wouldn't want to <laughs> so, be in your household this week. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's it's not going to be great. But oh, um, okay. South, I think they've got six first graders in, uh, which is interesting. Um, Cameron Murray's back good. from suspension after his uh, bench antics in Origin. Good job, NRL, by the way. <laughs> Um, but um, Sharks 13 plus, it's 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 going to be bad. Um, they're, they're smarting after their loss last week. Mm. Uh, but at home, uh, they, they, they just know how to score points against weak teams. And unfortunately, South have just got too many injuries to compete against the top six team at this point. But yeah, they, they tend to let the points in too. So I'm going Sharks 1 to 12. 1 to 12. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I have a bit of faith. <laughs> Uh, this, this this game, on the other hand, Panthers look to be back in form after outclassing the Dragons in their last week's match. Uh, with the Knights in their sights next, Knights coming off a much-needed bye and going back to 11th spot with a slim hope of finals, um, even though I've already written them off for this the rest of this year. Uh, Knights are only paying $4.45, that's all right. <laughs> um Hey, it's Mitch Kenny's They've drifted out to six dollars five now, mate. No, six dollars and five cents. Put a dollar on them. <laughs> Put a dollar yeah. on. Them. Uh, uh, no, I'm going Panthers thirteen plus. I'll be going Panthers say. thirteen plus as well. Their, their form last week against the Dragons, white hot, hot, right yeah. back to their normal best. Um, you know, there's lots of rumours going around about uh, old mate Cleary being distracted by his new girlfriend. Uh, I think that's gone. I think he's back, ladies and gentlemen. For sure. And they know it's business end of the season. They're ramping up to a big finals and probably a fifth grand final in a row. Panthers 13 plus. For sure. And here come the Bulldogs. Wow. <laughs> what a massive Yeehaw. win upsetting the Broncos last week. Looking good coming to the finals. Uh, take on the Raiders at Belmore on Sunday. Um, who who beat the Rabbitohs convincingly last week as well, but uh, set to be a cracker to end the round 22, PJ, what do you reckon? Yeah, this will be a good game. I, yeah. I'm um, I'm going to be uh, watching this one on the television for sure. Well, it's a good place um, to watch it, yeah. Fox, not Channel 9. I can't stand oh. bloody Andrew Johns. Oh, God, waffle, waffle, Brad Fittler, wham, wham. Phil Gould, oh, God. But um, Bulldogs, um, I'm, I'm going to go 1 to 12. I don't think they're going to get a 13-plus. Canberra impressed me last week, even though Souths were pathetic. Um, they they kind of looked like they were getting back into some form. So Bulldogs, I think they'll be too good. Uh, probably 10-point win, I'd say. Not enough for 13-plus, mm. but I'll go 1-12 yeah, Bulldogs. I mean, Dogs 1-12 uh, is 1-2. 1-12. 1-2. to 2. <laughs> one to two. Phil Gold. Two point, Phil Gold. Yeah. Phil Gold, yeah. You heard it here? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Josh Papalipi, Papali'i, I can never say his name right. I can never say any of their names right. Josh Papali, 300 NRL games, well done. So something to play for for the Raiders. All right. I think it's that time for that time of the week, everyone's favourite episode. <laughs> is it that time? It is that time. You ready? Let's go. All right. Tip of the week. Alrighty, so I want to start off with a message. 
okay? <laughs> Everyone needs to understand this. To the, to the fan that reached out on the chat saying, PJ, you're costing me a fortune. Um, your tips are terrible. I'm guessing. This is a guessing competition. I have no idea. I am not Marty McFly with the time machine. The DeLorean going back in time to tell me who won last on the weekend. I don't have that. Okay? So it's on you, mate. It's on you. If you're losing your money, gamble responsibly, please. So tips last week, as I said, West Tiger scored on the bell. Would have had Warriors 13+, plus, but that didn't happen. Storm won at 13 plus, Roosters won to 12, and then the Dolphins had a 14 point lead and Fairdink and went to sleep. So that's, I think, the closest I've been to four all season. I missed out by a point in a second half. So, yeah. I'm going to do better this week. You can lock this in right now. This is a definite maybe, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Storm, 13 plus. We've got the Sharkies. 13 plus. We've got the Panthers, 13 plus. And the Bulldogs, 1 to 12. That's my multi this week. Storm, 13 plus. Sharks, 13 plus. Panthers, 13 plus. Bulldogs, 1 to 12. That'll give you terrible odds, but I need to get one right. So that's the way I'm going. Gamble response. Tip of the week. Nice work. Let's, let's hopefully um, that one might come in this week. We're, how long are we waiting for one? <laughs> what All are we season. I can't believe I haven't got one right. I only have to come, pick four. Come close. Yeah, you're getting, yeah, getting closer. Yeah, I'm, We're getting there. I've got four out of four tips a couple of times. Yeah. But uh, just getting the margins, the margins and the tips bad, is yeah. quite a challenge. So. And I think that wraps yes. up tonight's episode. Um, hope you enjoyed the podcast. Hope you enjoy all the footy action on the weekend. And they come back, we we'll do it all next week with another Ripper detailed podcast for you all. And of course, uh, with you, PJ, enjoy the footy, mate. I hope it goes all right for you. <laughs> Might not be good, mate. But uh, uh, yeah, go the bunnies, go the knights, and go your team. Go good your luck team. this week. Good night. Thanks for joining us. Good night. Thanks for tuning in to another action-packed episode of the NRL Live Chat 2.0 podcast. We hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to check out all of the NRL Live Chat 2.0 action on our Facebook group page. Come and join the chat. Goodbye.